about it right now. Everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life. Hey guys, it's Helena. So today I wanted to do a little room tour. I love watching all those New York City apartment tours, so I thought I would also show you guys around my room. So my favorite part of my room is probably my shelves. So they actually came with the place and they're a great place to put some plants and some decor and I like that it's always kind of minimal over here. So up top I have my pothos plant. I have my dumb cane plant, I think that's what it's called, and some candles and a few books. Books are always a little nice decor and over here I have some of my paints and this old uh, wooden comb and a bouquet of these dried flowers that I've had for at least a year now. There actually used to be a bookshelf running across all over here and I had them take it down which is why there's kind of this like weird discoloration here. And this has kind of become my office area. So I have this table that looks like it's probably from Ikea. It's from our neighbors from home in Jersey that were moving out and we took their table. <laughs> this chair is really old. It's from my mom's old office. So yeah, it's definitely like one of those very office swivel chairs. So not super aesthetically pleasing, but pretty comfy for me and like adjustable. And definitely have some like little notepads that are falling apart here. So below my desk there's this blocked up fireplace area so it's like bricked up now but that's why there's this wooden kind of mantle accent which I really like. So some of the little trinkets and things I have up here. I have some more like face kind of things. Um, I have this little box from a cousin's wedding and I just put some hair ties in there, another old kombucha bottle, and some more dried flowers in here. Um, this little like necklace thing was also, I think it's one of those like paper um, rolled necklaces. And this is a little fruit painting that my sister did back in 08, but I like the kind of uh, delicate watercolor look of it. This is a little ceramic piece by my friend Monica and I use it as a jewelry holder and I used to have a pretty bad jewelry addiction buying problem. I really only wear the same pieces all the time now. And this is my grandpa's old California license plate and I kind of like that uh, it adds a little bit of a vintage kind of feel. And Christmas card from my friend Rachel. I like having it up here for the holidays and I have a little basket here. I think that's like my grandma's maybe as well. I like the little wooden texture and I just have some like batteries and uh, things like that in there. I've been thinking about getting like a mirror up here, but then I'm like, it's just gonna be more stuff. I definitely wanna try to keep it minimal since it is like a small room. The light in my room during the day is really nice and it's nice to have some of that natural light, especially in the winter times, even though it does make it a little tricky since I'm right next to my bed. This is my bed and it's actually a twin size, so it's really small, but it kind of does the job. It is old, so it's not super comfortable and my comforters are actually from college and yeah, I've just kept using them. They've been holding up pretty well. My room really isn't that big, so now I can have a bit more floor space, so if I wanted to do a little workout here, I would have more uh, space to do so. My sister has slept here before, so it's just kind of a tight squeeze, but you know, if you want company, it's not impossible. Yeah, again, I really love having all the sunlight come in, and it just is nice to be able to kind of like read and chill on the bed a bit. What I like about this room is that there's this kind of wooden um, shelf window edge and it's great because it kind of adds some character and 
I love putting all my little journals here. So this is what I'm reading right now. It's really great. It's about the Flint water crisis. And I have some journals here. Uh, this one's like a smaller one that I try to write like things that I'm grateful for, like short things that I'm grateful for. Um, doesn't always happen, but I try to do it. It used to be more for my running stuff when I would be writing what I was trying to accomplish for my workout that day. And my glasses and it's my journal and I definitely love journaling. And this is actually a really old notebook. It has these funny like bear things all over and phrases. So I actually painted over it like stripes. So it would look a little nicer and more um, exciting to write in. But yeah, I love having my journals at my table side. And as you guys know, I have like a little pillowcase for my phone and my phone currently is my alarm. My room is south facing so I get a lot of sun through my two windows. Lots of New York City apartments have the old exposed brick which definitely adds character. Over here I have an acrylic painting that I did a while back and it was a perfect spot to hang it up. Yeah, it's not a bad view. There's sometimes little birds and stuff over here, which is kind of nice. Um, I can also hear when people are throwing out the trash, so that's always fun. I definitely like being able to see the sky looking up. This is my kind of sewing area of my room. I have this Juki industrial sewing machine that I got during my senior year of college since you guys know that uh, I actually went to Parsons and was studying fashion design and it was always a madhouse trying to get a machine so I finally got one of these and it's really kind of chunky it has like this motor situation and I reuse like this old rice bag to keep some of my fabrics in here my ironing board and my uh, iron in here but I would be getting more use out of it last year but I really haven't dived full on into completing my sewing projects. I've always kind of started a few things and never fully finished. I might try to complete something this year, that's my goal, uh, and especially now that I'm saying it out there. Um, so I want to try and sew a little bit more, but eventually I feel like I might need to get rid of this thing because it's just, it's really a struggle to move, it's so heavy. Uh, so yeah, and it takes up a chunk of space. I have some plants here, I believe this is like a jade plant. It's from the old office and uh, just adopted it as well so that it would survive. And you can easily grow scallions by just cutting, saving the roots and can at least grow at least like once more or twice more. And I've got some like my lotions and like coconut oil and things like that. And um, I just reuse old uh, spice jars. This window's kind of broken, so that's why I have this weird kind of like a tie thing over here and I just wrap it around but these kind of bamboo looking window blinds came with the apartment so I just kind of kept them. My machine that doesn't get much use does make for a good spot to just sit and look outside and take a break from the screen. And over here I have my closet. So a little bit about the decor that I've added kind of recently. This actually is a little old calendar from our old office and I just cut off the little calendar parts but there was these really nice prints. This is a little live figure drawing that I did at a art kind of drawing studio nearby. I really like the colors so I tried to make a little makeshift frame from some leftover paper. And this has been updated recently with 2021 intentions and these are just some of the intentions that I want to work on this year, like getting in shape, reading more, learning more about climate change and racial injustice. So I tried to do daily kind of more achievable habits like meditating for 10 minutes a day, jogging every other day or running, really want to get back into that. and working out at least five minutes a day, so some kind of sweat, these kind of go together. And reading at least one page a day, and maybe drawing, so yeah, I like kind of having a reminder here. And it's pretty decently sized, I have these little cubbies over here, my hampers back in there, and sorry this is like a hot mess, but yeah, I've got um, just some white bags and things, some 
vitamins, a huge thing of sanitizer. You guys might have seen this before. This is kind of where I hang up all my bags and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little Brooklyn apartment room tour. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.